Lexi Girl and welcome back to another video. In today's video, um, I just kind of wanted to go back to the beginning. Um, I've been doing a lot of really, really fun and different content for you guys, but I did um, just kind of want to go back to the little simple videos that I did have before. Obviously, I'm going to try and keep up this fun content that I'm doing for you guys, but also, again, I just want to, you know, um, do a come paint with me, so that is what I'm going to be doing for so this I video. I brought out um, two of my little watercolor palette things. I got my brush um, and I filled up my water um, and I've got my painting sketchbook here as well. I actually haven't painted in this in a while. I believe this was the last come sketch with me, so let's go to the next page. What do I want to paint today? Um, I think um, something that I've kind of been wanting to experiment with for a while is kind of like a rainy day kind of vibe. So um, I have a really cool idea here. Let me get these. So I got my paint markers um, and it's water based. So if I were to just dot these around very excited with this idea hopefully it turns out okay <laughs> let's just hope for okay um dip my paintbrush in some water while they're still wet and go like that and my water was green before so sorry guys it's not oh okay it's working a little bit Okay, let me try and put like there we go that looks good oh, I really like that okay so I guess the way we're supposed to do it is grab this paint put down some water like so like all over the paint and then just dot it <gasps> That looks so pretty. I really like that, you guys. That looks so good. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with that. Eek! Okay, I am really loving the way that looks. Wow, I really like that. So then we're just gonna get some more water and spread it around a bit more. Make it so it looks less green. It looks pretty green right now. Then take um, some of my blue watercolor the lightest blue here <gasps> it fell over <coughs> it fell over okay and then just spread that this is gonna look so pretty you guys I'm really liking this okay I've never like experimented with this before. I normally just play it safe and do um like <laughs> sunsets uh, because painting is not necessarily my strong suit. It's mostly just drawing. Um, but like ever since I started this YouTube channel, I've just kind of been trying to like go out of my comfort zone for you guys, try something new, and you know like if I like it then. I can play around with a little, little more stuff like that. That's actually pretty much why I started this painting series. Um, and I still am just kind of playing it safe, doing like classic sunsets. Like, <laughs> let me show you my past paintings in this in this sketchbook. We've got. Uh, let me flip the page. This. <laughs> sunset oh my gosh I'm getting blue on my hands I actually did this painting of like earth um, which looks kind of cool I did really like that it's not realistic or detailed of course I really like this do you guys think I should try different colors in in here like dotting different colors around yeah okay so I'll start with a 
silver. I'll start with the silver. Okay, you can't really see it. <laughs> so that didn't go well. But I don't want to use like a vibrant um, red or anything, you know? I think that actually looks so cute. I really like that. Okay, honestly, I think I'm just gonna leave it for that painting and then go to another one. Um, maybe I can try like doing like a super sunny one now. So let's leave that to dry and then we can go to the next painting. Three, two, one. All right, so I left my painting to dry for an hour or two. So it's dry now. Um, now we're gonna, uh. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. Okay, that's fine. We can work with that. That's fine. That's fine. Um, so now I kind of want to make like a summery one since I already made like the winter rainy. Um, I kind of want to try and make like a warm, like, I don't know, just a warm toned one. So um, <laughs> now we're going to put a piece of paper under the sketchbook because uh under this page in the sketchbook because I do not want it bleeding through so i just got this um friendship bracelet making kit um that i'm gonna just but that doesn't work um i can take the lid there we go um and slide it under i've been super into making friendship bracelets um recently so that's really fun um okay so since we're going for a warm toned um we're gonna do the same thing we did last time hopefully the water is not too blue okay because i don't know if you guys can see but like since i was using the blue paint like the water looks kind of blue it's not too blue it's not too bad so we're just gonna coat it in water and hopefully I can fix the mistakes that I did last time. Uh, it slid out from under. Okay, so we're just gonna coat it in water. Um, grab our summery tones like this yellow that I wanna use, um, a red that I wanna use, and an orange as well. So we've got these three tones. Um, and we are just going to, here, let's put the blue back so I don't accidentally use it or something, I don't know. And we're just going to, the, oh, I made a hole in the paper. Oh, I made a hole in the paper. No, did you guys see that? Oh no, I made another one. Okay, I think that's good for the yellow. The yellow gives it like a really nice um, vibe, like a nice light vibe. I really like that. Okay, there's the orange. And now, Harmful, the red. Yeah. <laughs> this is fun, you guys. And like, if you want, oh, do you guys see that spreading? That's so cool. Oh my gosh, the red worked so well. If you want like bigger blobs, just go like that and you see the pigment just going like all over. Let's see. Okay, it hasn't really gotten on the cap though. That's good. Whoa, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And if you just want small ones, <gasps> the smaller ones turn out so cool. I definitely recommend trying this technique, you guys. It's so cool. Oh my gosh, it turns out like a super marble effect. Oh my gosh, wow. I'm just in shock, you guys. This looks so awesome. Okay, now let's see if we can grab our water and just spread. Oh, wow. That ends up looking awesome. Okay, I think we're gonna take some yellow paint and just spread that around because we don't have too much yellow because the yellow just kind of fade in, into the background with the red being so bright and all. So I think I just want to bring back in a little pop of yellow. Wow. That one turned out so cool. Okay, I think we have time for one more painting like this. So let's do it okay so i was actually like just very eager to film after this one turned out so cool 
Um, so I think I'm just not gonna let it dry. Um, that could be a huge mistake on my part, but you know, that's fine. We're just gonna flip it over. Kinda does look like barf a little bit though. <laughs> Okay, let's go to a new one. Uh, okay, we just pressed it on the back. Let's see how the back of this one looks. So it didn't affect the front, which is good. Ew, <laughs> it looks even more like barf. Okay, let's do now um, that I've just kind of played around with it a little bit more, um, I am gonna do the style some more. Like, I love it so so much it turns out so cool and like i don't know just really awesome so i definitely recommend trying something like that um posca pens um would work pretty much any water based marker would work um uh but for mine i'm using these allery acrylic paint markers that i got for my birthday so if you haven't seen my birthday haul i got a lot of cool things in there so go check it out but um i do have this other set of watercolor markers that i really want to try out like with this project um and see if the results would be the same or if they'd be different i have no clue so here they are, um, the Studio Series Watercolor Brush Pens. I actually did a review on these earlier on in my channel, so if you haven't seen that, again, go check it out. So, um, I just kind of want to do, I don't know, just like take a bunch of random colors. Maybe I'll do a rainbow one. Okay, rainbow. Let's stick with that idea. So, hold on, you guys. I got this red. Let's do it. Oh wow, that looks awesome. Just do some swipey swipies. <gasps> Ooh! It like, hold on. It... Okay, that's so weird. It like took the pigment out of the top, but like you just needed to um, like press it and play around with it. Okay, this is gonna look really awesome. I'm really excited. Yellow. I'm trying to do this fast because I know I'm a few minutes away from the YouTube time limit. I'm aware. Let's see. Three minutes already. Uh, red, orange, yellow, green, green. Race to the finish, you guys. Blue and purple and we are going to do these three colors all at the same time which uh oh my god okay that just kind of looks like a child scribbling you know but that's okay we don't we don't judge here on this channel we don't we don't do that no 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 um okay then we just take the water and go back over it. <gasps> that looks awesome. Okay, it kind of turned brown. Okay, but yeah, um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. That is going to have to be it. Um, yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and comment down below if you want to see more of these paint with me videos. I had a lot of fun experimenting with you guys. Um, yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe. Bye!